Chloe. Hey, you made it. Hey, Chloe. Hey. How's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one. So I could draw and stuff. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you. But I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was... stabbed in the arm. By... Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? Oh, no. We got our own set of problems with him. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Merrick? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough! Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> those must be from Steph's parents. Hey, can I sign your cast? Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Something nerdy, but not too nerdy. There you go. Cool. Tell Rachel she's got to come to board game night soon. It's cute, I guess. What are you guys doing? I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Calamastia. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait, you're into this nerd shit too? It's a game where I win if I make up crazy shit and act like a badass. So yes. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh, yeah. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit! So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? Gotta save Elamon, right?
we rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. Oh, yeah. I totally did that. You totally did. This game is awesome. Elamon comes around a corner to discover Calamastia, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Sup. Sup? I'm running from Dragonkin because of you. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after me now. <laughs> well, I, I think that was really more of a team effort. You mean when you told that dragonkin that you'd skin him, make a handbag from his flesh, and then carry him around in it? Yeah, that was really a team effort. Well, you did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on... everything. Suddenly, dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're up first. What do you want to do? I do a spinning slash. Sixteen. Good enough. You spin around, using your axe to slash all six dragonkin at once. They all drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. Ah, oh, come on. You can totally take these fuckers down. I just killed six of them. Those were scouts, Chloe. Warriors are four times that hard. Oh. Well, shit. <sighs> running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? All right. To the forest it is. Let's go. As soon as you enter the shade of the great trees, it becomes eerily silent and very cold. You notice the stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The stones lead you to the center of the forest, where you see a mysterious glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. A forest idol? I could use that to regrow my feet. Help me steal it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now this is my kind of skill challenge. Awesome. Roll for idol theft. <sighs> Eight. As you approach the idol, you dash your foot against one of the stones and fall face first into the dirt. A bony hand shoots up from the ground right before your eyes. You feel the ground move and jump up just in time for the undead soldier buried there to sit up from his shallow grave. Dirt and pebbles cascade down his fleshless torso. Then, the ground beneath you shakes. Bony, rotting hands shoot up from the ground all around as an entire army of undead warriors rises from their graves. You have disrupted the undead forest an ancient burial ground for fallen soldiers. They surround you now, armed to the teeth, bony faces grinning. Run. Luckily, the undead have a very low running speed. 
The party flees safely, but the soldiers aren't far behind. As you near the edge of the forest, you hear the familiar boom, boom, boom of heavy footsteps out of the shadows and into your path steps Durgeron. Oh shit, is that me? You're gonna play? I'm gonna kick your ass. This is awesome. What do I do? Say something threatening. Uh, you shall not pass. I've heard you sound more threatening when ordering pizza. Dude, you're worse at this than I am. Okay, you know what, Price? Weak, foolish creatures. You were lucky to escape me the last time. But fortune does not shine forever. When I'm done with you, death shall seem a quiet reprieve. <laughs> Word. I wrote that for him. <laughs> Shut up. Now remember, Durgeron is still wearing his bracer of fire immunity and is impervious to all of Elamon's battle spells. Yeah, as it should be. It's your move. I feel like Rage Slam might be good. <laughs> Bring it. Channeling your immense fury, you try to lift Durgeron into the air for a body slam. Badass style. Twelve. Uh, sixteen? Durgeron's stronger than you think. He reverses your grip and lifts you up, throwing you through the air easily. Ha! Bullshit. You land in an embarrassingly awkward way. Take five damage. I take it all back. This game is... dumb. I kick her while she's down. <sighs> Make that 16 damage. Back to you. I call upon Elamon. Help enough out. Hmm. I know. I cast... Clairvoyance. What would you like to see? Durgeron's weakness. Hey, what? An image forms in your mind. You see a small, adorable gnome bard singing a sweet song in a city street. Suddenly, Durgeron appears standing over him. He snatches up the bard, carries him to the sea, and throws him like a football far into the storm-tossed currents. Immediately after, he grabs his throwing shoulder in pain. You hurt your shoulder tossing a gnome into the ocean? I don't know what she's talking about. Didn't you throw that marching band kid in the pool last week? Not that you can prove. I stab at his right side, where he can't fend me off. Come at me. She lunges for you. You try to raise your sword, but pain shoots through your arm like lightning. Her axe gets you right in the ribcage, dropping you to your knees. This one's all yours. Skull bomb! Yes! Wait, skull bomb? I ignite a very small sun inside my enemy's head. Though his bracer shields him from the heat, the gravitational force of the sun causes Durgeron's head to implode until it disappears with a bloody pop. <laughs> Finally! Whew, man. Finally? That was like two seconds. I barely got to play. Oh, man. Here, I have a potion. It'll make you feel better. I love these. How'd you know? She's got ways. Uh, if Durgeron's dead, I grab his bracer. Oh yeah, the the bracelet of fire resistance. Bracer of fire immunity. Whatever. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush green fields full of birds, flowers and dragonkin. 
What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap. And you just walked right into it. As the dragon can ahead prepare to attack, the army of undead arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have Searing Crystal. Perfect! Searing Crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's Bracer of Fire Immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one bracer. <sighs> Mikey loves his character. I, I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Elamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. <sighs> I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. You're Elamon. Freaking wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avalon. Avernon. Yeah, that. See, you can do anything. Wow. You actually remember all of that? But I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? I believe in you. I know you'll roll high. You're the only party member I've ever had who's actually helped me. I can't leave you behind. You're, like, the most heroic person I know. You help everyone. It's my turn to save you from something. No, Calamastia, I won't just kill you. Don't be afraid, Elamon. You are destined for great things. No, I won't abandon the best partner I've ever had. Mikey. I cast... Shield of Stars. Oh, boy. A dome of blinding light surrounds the party. It captures the attention of all surrounding creatures. They immediately charge. This sucks. The shield of stars withstands some of the blows. But wave after wave of attacks weakens it until... Until? The shield gives out. Dragonkin and undead warriors descend upon the party. Do we fight valiantly? Oh, yeah. By fire and sword, you take many of them down, though there are always more to take their place. Sounds like state last year. Their numbers overwhelm you, hacking you to death. Eventually, you die, your bodies torn to pieces. Damn. Mikey, I'm... I'm really sorry. I've been playing Elamon for... three years. He was like... a friend. But you can create a new character, right? Yeah. I guess. Then let's do this shit. How do we start? Wait, really? You'll play with me? Sure, why not? We're not gonna let those shitheads think that they're better than 
than the North Brothers? This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. It's kind of nice that I can bum around here while I'm waiting for Rachel. Hey. Wait up a sec. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. I... I told you. I was... Working for Frank. I know. That doesn't mean you weren't trying to help us, too. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe.